when humans come along, whatever we do that affects the climate or the environment in any way whatsoever can now be seen to perturb this passive state of, of climatic and environmental change that has prevailed on the Earth for thousands and thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of years. I challenge that narrative because having now spent over three decades, going on four decades, in the study of past environmental change on this planet, I have become convinced overwhelmingly, and I'm not the only one, that yes, the history of this planet and specifically within the time that we humans have been here has been profoundly dynamic and that we need to come to terms with that. One of the ways that the environment has changed in ways that we didn't even anticipate a generation or two ago is in the form of great tsunamis. A tsunami making landfall with a 400 or 450 foot lower sea level is going to have a different effect on, a, on the coastlines of the world back then. And the main reason for that is because of the fact that as sea levels fell, it exposed the very shallow gradient coastal shelves that rim all of the continents of the earth, see? Whereas now, those continental shelves are mostly underwater, okay? But if you drop sea levels 400, 450 feet, that's what happens. You start exposing those shallow rims. That has an effect that needs to be taken into account when we start considering questions of antiquity and questions of prehistory.